Hi guys, it's Jen. Today we're going to be doing a, a stamping manicure. Kind of Easter themed a little bit. And I've already got my base coat applied and as usual I'm using the Pure Ice Bottom Line Base Coat. And then for my base color, color on all my nails, I am going to be using Revlon's Holographic Pearls. This is a budget breaker. Um, I picked this up at Walgreens for $5.99. Um, however, I've heard that... Uh, I can't remember who had it on clearance. I think maybe it was Walgreens that had it on clearance for much less, like two bucks, I think, which is a steal. Um, but yeah, I bought mine for $5.99. Was it worth going over budget? Absolutely, I love this polish. So, if you can get your hands on it for less than five dollars, bonus. But if you have to pay full price, honestly, it's worth it. It's worth it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put two coats of this on, and I'll actually go through both coats so that you can see how opaque this stuff gets. It's, it's, it is a scattered hollow, but it's a pretty saturated scatter hollow. So, ta -ta -ta. I'm tripping over my tongue. So let's go ahead and put this on what now. Of course, you know, my lights, my lights aren't doing this justice, so you get it outside in the sun, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, just like any good hollow, it's just going to come alive in natural lighting. Alright, so I'm going to finish the rest of my nails, and then we'll come back for the second coat. Two coats are on, and you can still see the visible nail line, but that's okay because we are going to be stamping over it. And honestly, the hollow totally distracts from that nail line, so it's not a big deal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a coat of a sesh beet on before stamping. Now I don't always do this, but to be honest, I'm a little unsure about the colors I'm going to be using, so if I put a coat of Sesh Beat on, I might be able to use some tape to get the stamping off if I need to, if I decide I absolutely hate it. Alright, we are back and we are ready to stamp. I actually wore this holographic pearls on its own for three days. So I figured probably better just get to stamping before I don't have anything for my Easter manicure. And my cats are playing in plastic bags. Sorry. Okay. So the plates I'm going to be using are Bundle Monster XL01, XL03, and XL04 polishes I'm going to be using are Pure Ice, After Hours, I believe is what this is called. Oh, Last Chance. Last Chance for this one. Sorry. Okay, and then Nina Ultra Pro Santorini. Wet and Wild, Be More Pacific. Pure Ice, Showstopper. And, oh, okay, this is After Hours, Pure Ice After Hours. And I actually originally was going to do pastels, but I have a whopping four pastels in my entire collection of polish. And I never ever use them, so they were horribly separated. 
and they just did not want to work for stamping, so I had to move on to something else and pick entirely new colors. Actually, the Santorini stayed, but other than that, all new colors. So let's get to stamping. Okay, so the first one I'm using is Bonamonter XL03. I'm going to be using this image here. And hopefully this run goes better. So I have to pick five new polishes. I'll probably cry. Oh, and I forgot to mention, but I'm using the um, Board and Pretty Store Jumbo Clear Stamper. $2.99. I'm not really a fan of Born Pretty Store, but I gotta admit, the Stamper is, is pretty awesome, especially for $2.99. Oh, and I'm totally out of frame. That sucked. I'm sorry. In frame this time? Okay. The brush actually came out. I am impressed. Okay, and that's with the Wet n Wild Be More Pacific. Oops, I scraped too hard. That's probably not going to pick up. Hmm, yes, it did actually. XL04. I think we know my scraper a little bit here. Okay, I'm going in with showstopper on this image here. Yay! Right. 
Sweet. I think the uh, holographic pearls is kind of overwhelming all of these colors. But that's okay, because it's holographic pearls. Okay, lastly, I'm going to be using this image here. Ugh. And yeah, I just got a new nail desk and. Uh, <laughs> It's a little wobbly, so I apologize if I'm wobbling all over the place. I need something to tether it down with. frame. Heh. <laughs> Sorry. Down. 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 Okay. Hey. Alright guys, we are all done. I got both hands done. I did actually redo this pinky because this one turned out really cool so I wanted to make sure it matched on this side. I got my thumbs done. So now we're gonna do top coat. Also, I kind of wish that I had switched out Santorini which is the, the blue on my ring fingers. It just doesn't quite pop as much as the other colors. So I kind of wish I had switched that out for a bolder blue. But this looks okay. So we're gonna go ahead and top coat using Sesh Feet. forgot to tell you guys. Zoya's Earth Day Exchange is on now. It lasts until May 10th at 11.59 ES Eastern Standard Time, I believe. So you have time, but don't wait too long. Now, the Zoya Earth Day Exchange is a really cool program. What they do is they give you 50% off, so that's $5 a bottle for Zoya's with free shipping. Okay, And what they do is they'll let you pick your polishes and then you send them polishes that you don't use anymore and they will dispose of them in an envir environmentally friendly manner. Now, you don't absolutely have to send them polishes, old polishes. They, they're going to do it on an honor, honor code thing. I cannot talk tonight. I apologize. They do it on honor code. Um, it is their hope that you will send them unused polishes so they can be recycled or that you donate them to maybe a local women's shelter or some place like Project Beauty Share. Um, the only downside to this promotion is that they are not doing it 
on their Naked Manicure system, which is kind of a bummer because I really, really want their Lavender Perfector. And you do have to get at least six bottles of polish in order to get the 50% off. So you're gonna spend, you know, at least $30. But Zoya's for five bucks is a killer deal. So if you're interested, check it out. I will leave a link in the description box below. I will also put a link down to Project Beauty Share if you would like to check them out. If maybe you're thinking about doting to them. Um, I think if I do end up doing the Earth Day Exchange. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to um, donate some old bottles of polish as well as some makeup that, you know, just doesn't match me because I am cool toned as fuck and nothing matches me. So I think if I do decide to do that, that's what I'm going to do. But it's going to be a hard decision for me because I only have two slots left on my rack. So six polishes. Plus the Lavender Perfector. Mm, tough choice. Anyway, long, 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 long spiel there. I apologize. But seriously, uh, go check it out. So yeah, it's got, they've got really good polish. They really do. So if you want to, check it out. Thank you so, so much for watching and, um, you know, putting up with my rambling and my bumbling mistakes. I love you guys. You're amazing. You have a great day, night, three o'clock in the morning if, you know, you're like me. And remember, you don't have to break the bank to master the mammy. Bye, guys. <laughs>